Tonight, a new study says teens who use dietary supplements to lose weight or build muscle could be hurting themselves. The study found supplements may include dangerous ingredients not listed on their labels. In some cases, teenagers were combining them with other supplements or even prescription medication, which was leading them into the hospital. I'm here with 11 Live uh, medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy. And Dr. Reddy, there's a reason why these supplements uh, have some of this stuff or maybe don't include some of it on the labels. Yeah, and I think it's a very important point. We talked about this last week. The FDA does not regulate supplements, so you don't really know what you're getting. It really is a buyer beware market. But this study specifically looked at teens and adolescents, and we find that since half of Americans report using one supplements, teenagers tend to be in this group too. Now, the problem is we don't know what supplements can do to adults. We definitely don't know what they do to children. And again, they're not regulated. So on the label, they found that they can have things like unlabeled um, uh, uh, toxic substances like pesticides, even prescription medications could be mixed in to the supplement, and that's part of the danger. And we we're talking about creatine as well. That's something that a lot of people are familiar with if they're trying to stay in shape and maybe bulk up. But what what could be the problem or the potential danger with that? Yeah, and so we know creatine is an amino acid, but even in adults, in high doses and over long-term use, it's been linked to dehydration, kidney and liver damage. Again, we just don't know what even a supplement that is well-known like creatine is going to do to teenagers. The American Academy of Pediatrics re recommends that no children or teenagers take supplements specifically for you know muscle mass energy and things like that and that's what a lot of the supplements in this study that were linked to severe adverse events were for so I think this is something parents have to watch out for because even though creatine is not really indicated and the label say don't take it if you're under 18 teenagers can get their hands on it so as parents you need to know what your children are taking and like you said if we don't know what it's going to do to us we don't we certainly don't know what it's going to do for exactly the exactly right well. all right dr. Reddy thank you so much thank you all right thanks a lot ladies